I can use an ordinary old steel bolt to make a magnet, but so far it's not a magnet. Watch this. On the table I have some paper clips, but the steel bolt will not pick up a single paper clip. So, so far it's not a magnet, but it soon will be. To turn it into a magnet, I need three more things. A D-cell battery, a rubber band, and some plastic coated copper wire. Now I started with about two meters of this plastic covered copper wire and I've wound it around the bolt and I'll keep on doing that until I reach the nut at the other end. And then I'll simply tighten the nut and I'll have the makings of an electromagnet. But it won't be an electromagnet until I pass electricity through the coils of wire. Here's how I do that. Now with a pair of scissors, what I've done is to shave away the plastic covering of the copper wire. I did that at both ends for a length of about two to three centimetres. Take the battery and put the rubber band around it from end to end. Now you want a tight fit and so it probably works best if you double the rubber band over like that. So the battery is now connected to the coils of wire around the bolt. And electricity is flowing from this end, the base end, the negative end, through the wire, round and around the coils, and then back to the battery again. It doesn't look any different, but let's see if it works a little differently. Here we go, we're picking up the paper clips. Look at that. But when we disconnect the battery, they all fall off. I've turned the steel bolt into an electromagnet. I want to know. Curiosity.